Alrighty, hey everyone, it is Garrison over here at Massey Toyota. And let's check out this 2020 Toyota Highlander XLE all-wheel drive. As you can see, the Highlander did get a refresh for the 2020 model year. Some fresh standard features, fresh styling, as well as a refreshed interior. So as you can see coming up front, a little bit of a new front end. It does include your LED headlights, fog lights, and tail lights. TSSP 2.0 is included on this vehicle as well, which does have um, all of your standard features that TSSP had previously, as well as your lane trace assist and road sign assist. Lane trace will help keep you centered in the lane instead of just keeping you in the lane. This one is going to be in the moon dust exterior with the black soft text interior. Checking out our options, we do have the special color as well as the Toyo Guard Platinum. Um, All-weather mats, clear protection package, and phone charger for a total of $44,155. Gas mileage is going to be 20 city, 27 highway, 23 combined on this all-wheel drive model. And then coming down here to your wheels, these are going to be your 18-inch alloy wheels. Riding on Michelin Premier LTX tires, so top-of-the-line tires as well. As you can see, those mud flaps as well. Coming around back, those LED tail lights all-wheel drive badging, rear backup camera, power trunk, all the necessities. Before coming in, of your inner side mirror, of course, it's going to be body color, turn indicator, they are going to be heated, and you do have your blind spot monitoring. Smart key access, so hand behind the door handle to unlock. Coming in, this one is going to have 379 miles on it. Typical smart key fashion, foot on the brake, button to start. So let's check out underneath the hood. And coming underneath the hood of the 2020 Highlander, you are going to have a carryover 3.5 liter V6. It does feature D4S direct and port fuel injection. This is going to be your standard power plant in the unit with an optional four cylinder hybrid that does boast about 17% better MPG. You're reaching the 30s on that one. So that is a great option if you are interested about getting some better miles per gallon. But this one does boast 295 horsepower, 263 foot-pounds of torque, going through an eight-speed automatic and all four wheels through a multi-terrain select all-wheel drive system. A torque vectoring all-wheel drive system is available on the Limited and Platinum Highlanders as well, and that's gonna be a new feature. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. And coming back in on this one, as we said before, we do have that black Softex interior. Real leather is an option. You just have to upgrade to the limited and platinum trims. Coming over here to your door panel, it is going to be all nice and padded soft touch materials, stitching down here in your armrest, for windows, locks, and mirrors, as well as your power trunk, automatic high beams, and some storage over here. Coming to the steering wheel, it is going to be a new steering wheel for 2020. It's going to be leather wrapped. You do have all of your cruise control, radar, as well as your lane keep assist right over here, as well as your four-way D-pad, and um, Bluetooth, voice commands, volume, seek and track. That D-pad is going to be used for your center LCD. As you can see, we can go through some of the options right here. There's going to be that all-wheel drive system, and you can see that. As well as your digital speed. Over here on the left, you do have your automatic headlights and fog lights. Over on the right, you do have your variable intermittent speed wipers. Over here on your dash, as you can see, nice stitching accents. We did keep the technology shelf for the 2020 model year. I know a bunch of um, Highlander loyalists did love that. So we do have that over here as well as over there on the passenger side with your um, cutouts to go through and down to the charging ports. But up top here at your head unit, this is going to be your 8-inch into an audio system. Going to the audio sources, we do have AM, FM, XM, USB, and Bluetooth streaming audio. Going to your menu, as you can see, you do have your projection for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then going home, you have a nice split screen view that you can customize. Down below that, your Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control. Let's see if we can cut down that glare. Uh, this is going to be your driver, front passenger, and then your rear zone is controlled right here. You can control that up front so you can access the power and all the settings to that if you want to lock out the kids back there as well as your driver lockout, so that predominantly puts the um, climate power towards the driver's seat. And then you do have your tri-stage heated seats for the front passengers. That aforementioned technology shelf. Down here's gonna be that eight-speed automatic transmission with sport mode and manual shifting. Reverse does give you your rear backup camera right there. All your USBs, 
as well as charging and your 12 volt cup holders, as well as some um, settings down here for your drive modes, as well as your multi-terrain select. You'd have your um, brake hold feature, so if you are to stop light, just press this and you don't have to hold down on the brake. Auto start, stop, deactivation, hill descent, snow mode, and your traction control. A little bit of a different center console right here. As you can see, you do have your wireless charging that does come on the XLE. Down below there, plenty of storage with your 12 volt. And then over here, your glove box, nice and damped, all your owner's manuals in there. Auto dim frameless rear view mirror with your integrated garage home link. Mirror and vanity light up top, as well as a conversation mirror to keep an eye on the kids, and your power moonroof right here. It, it is automatic as well, so there's no need to hold down the buttons there. Close that. Interior illumination. And that just about wraps it up for the front seat. Let's check out the rear. Coming back here, this is going to have the second row captain's chairs. It is going to have the same soft tex leather red interior back here. Then coming to your door panel, same padded stitched materials. You have your sunshades right here that you can lower. Storage below. Behind my five foot nine driving frame, plenty of room, plenty of foot room as well. There's nothing underneath the seat, so you can slide your toes under there. Dual seat mat pockets, as well as your rear climate zone, two charging USBs, as well as your cup holders right here. You'd have armrest right here for the captain's chairs. And then up top, you do have the vents as well as illumination. The moonroof actually does duck back up to give you plenty of headroom for the second row occupants. And so let's check out the third row briefly. Just lift up on this lever right here. Your seat will easily slide forward, giving you a little passageway back there into the 60-40 bench seat. As you can see, cup holders as well as vents and illumination up top. It is going to have that center seat anchor up in the roof so it's not in your line of sight when not using it. Go ahead and slide that seat back and we'll check out the cargo area. And coming around back, you do have the power trunk as well as your rear backup camera. Just press that membrane underneath your Toyota logo and it will open right up. Giving you great access to the cargo area. As you can see, there's those all weather mats right here. And then behind your third row, you do have adequate room to keep a cooler, a couple overnight bags, and then dropping the third row is super easy. Dropping it like so. And then you do have plenty of room behind the second row of seats. Those do fold flat as well, giving you a big flat load floor to haul anything. Closing up your trunk is super easy. Just press that button. And you can adjust the height of that by pressing and holding for two seconds if it is too high for you. But that just about wraps it up for the 2020 Highlander XLE. I look forward to showing you other 2020 models as well as the um, higher trim levels as well. So hopefully we can get a, a limited and a platinum on the channel. But if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. Otherwise, thank you for watching. All of Massey Toyota's information will be in the description below. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video.